Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is hot dimmer switches. So this is something that a lot of home inspectors come across. We're doing a home inspection, you go to flip the light switch on, or well, more frequently, you go to turn the light off after it's been on for a while, and you notice it's really hot, like maybe dangerously hot. And the question, of course, is how hot is too hot? When is this a problem? And, you know, I'll tell you, it's pretty easy to figure this out. I, I'd say there is no magic number, at least not that I'm aware of, on the surface where you can say this is too hot. So often what I hear repeated in home inspector forums is, well, that's dangerously hot and you should call an electrician to come out and evaluate it further. And my two cents would be, as a home inspector, there's probably a little bit more you could do besides just saying, have an electrician come out and evaluate this. Take a couple of extra steps. All you gotta do is take the cover plate off, look inside at that dimmer switch and make sure that it's the right type and check the wattage on it. And now when I say the right type, I'm saying that if you take that cover plate off and it says on in fine print right on the cover, if it says, fan motor control, well then it's not supposed to be controlling lights anyway, and that's a problem. That, that's not a common thing that we come across, but make sure that it says for incandescent light fixtures, assuming you have incandescent light fixtures. If you have LEDs, it should have something on there saying that it's meant for LEDs. Here's an example of one where this particular dimmer is designed for incandescent bulbs, CFLs, and LEDs. It's got a nice little diagram or a little picture on there. So make sure that you have the proper dimmer for whatever it is that you're doing. And then, like I said, check the wattage. Now we're assuming that it's incandescent light bulbs that the dimmer is controlling. Just go around, look at the bulbs that the dimmer controls, add up the total wattage and make sure that it doesn't exceed what you have on your dimmer. If it's equal to what you have on your dimmer or really close to what you have on your dimmer, your dimmer is going to get very hot. I've tested this. I've, I've taken a 600 watt dimmer and I've run 600 watts of incandescent lights on there. And the surface of that dimmer gets somewhere around 135 degrees. So that's, I mean, that's, that's hot. You put your finger on there. It feels like it's burning your finger. I've done the same test with a 1000 watt dimmer where I run 1,000 watts on a 1,000 watt dimmer, full capacity. And can you guess what the temperature got up to? The exact same number, 135. Somebody planned it this way. They know what they're doing. I mean, so if I was gonna, if I was gonna guess at what a safe surface temperature for a dimmer switch is, assuming an ambient air temperature of about 70 degrees, I'd say maybe about a 60 degree rise in temp would be good. Because of course, even though the metal plate on the dimmer switch got up to 135 at the exact maximum wattage, it's gonna be transferring some of that heat to the cover plate. So we're going with a lower number. So somewhere around that range is where you'd start to get suspicious. It'd be worth adding everything up and it doesn't take you long. You know, you got a whole bunch of overhead lights, look at the wattage on the bulbs, add them up, compare to what it says, and the rating on your dimmer switch is gonna be listed. I mean, right on here, it's gonna say that it takes, it'll be a maximum of 600 watts and then 500 watts with one side removed. What does it mean to remove one side? It means that you've got these metal tabs on here and I could take a pliers and I could break these tabs off and you need to break them off if you're gonna have two of these side by side in a, in a two gang box. They, they won't physically fit unless you remove these sides. And it means that you're, you got a bunch of heat that you got to dissipate from one and another one right next to it. And when they get that close to each other, it gets derated and you can only have a maximum of 500 watts when it's right next to another one. And then if you got another one on the other side, it gets brought down to 400 watts. So in those cases, you know, if you got a whole bunch of them next to each other, they get derated. They don't have as much, uh, they can't handle as much wattage because you got a lot more heat to dissipate. So these are things that home inspectors should be aware of. I'd say before you say a dimmer switch is hot, get an electrician out here, you might think to yourself, this dimmer switch is hot, 
how much wattage is it controlling and is it a problem? So I guess this video is really more for home inspectors, but that's my advice. Hope this is helpful and hopefully this will help some homeowners with hot dimmer switches to just be aware that under normal circumstances, if there's a lot of wattage going through there, they can be hot. It's not necessarily a problem. That's all. Thanks for watching. Take care.